What's up, Broadway fans? We are live at 5. I'm Paul Wontorek. I'm Beth Stevens. We have a terrific guest, a pyrific guest. She's enormous in Times Square right now. Uh, Betsy Wolf is here, <laughs> new From star of Waitress. Waitress, the musical. Yeah. Uh, excited to have her. And uh, but there's some news. There's a little what's, news. What's the news? Let's let's There's do, a little news because news you know it's summer. Okay, so the Emmy nominations came. Oh, out. big news! Big, big news. news. Now there are so many Broadway people that um, got Emmy nominations. I can't possibly list them all, but let me give you a few. Okay. Tony winners: Viola Davis for How to Get Away with uh -huh. Murder. We knew that was going to happen. Is she still a theater person? She is. She's a Tony but she winner. Needs, but she needs to come back soon. I'm just. I'm, I'm just sure she's watching right now. Hi, Viola. Right. Um, Lin Manuel Miranda for being the SNL host. Yeah, that was That's a great awesome. episode of Saturday Night Live. And Jessica Lange for Feud. Side note. Stop! I can't deal with this. Are you ready for this? Can't deal. This Charlie and the Chocolate Factory is Jackie Hoffman. What? <laughs> Emmy nominee Emmy Jackie for Feud. Hoffman, Mama Sita. Mama Sita. That's can't. amazing. It's just amazing. That's just, amazing. We love it. We love that's, it. That's so great. Also, for just her. go. Do Although yourself. is she gonna be less edgy now? I mean, because no, you know, you can only complain be. so long when you're an Emmy nominee. Now it's kind of like she the shtick's gonna get old fast. Never. If you want to do yourself a favor, go to Jackie's uh, Twitter feed and just see her reactions. Um, <laughs> so yeah. So the t oh, also the Tony Awards. Now not this year. Last year's they Tony get nominated Awards. every year. I'm not, That's right. I mean, they got four. Year. Like every year they get nominated. That's every the one year. that the James Corden hosted. Jackie Hoffman does not get nominated every year. That's the correct. The Tony Awards get nominated every year. Also correct. <laughs> so that uh, they will be announced on September 17th on CBS with Stephen Colbert as the host. That's a long stretch. That's, that's longer a, than the that's Tony a stretch. Lot of pole dancing. That's a two month stretch you gotta wait. Oh yeah. Jackie Hoffman's tweets are gonna get really she's gonna, have, she's gonna get a stylist. <laughs> Love it. Love it. Um, more news. More yes. news. So Ayad Ayad Akhtar's junk. Good job. Thank you. Pulitzer Prize winning playwright. We already knew that Stephen Pasquale was the headliner for Who, that. by the way, I saw last night in Assassins. As okay. always. He's fantastic as John Wilkes Booth. Just wanted to throw that out there. Thank you, Paul. Thank you, Paul. Uh, but they've announced the rest of the cast. So uh -huh. we have uh, Matthew Saldivar, Tony uh -huh. Carlin, and a whole long list of people. I'm not going to read them all. A lot of people. Lots of people. Joey Slotnick, Henry Stram, just great, great cast. I love the names you just pull out. I just like pull, I pull out the ones I know. I pull out the ones I know. Uh, directed by Doug Hughes at the Vivian Beaumont Lincoln Center. Previous October 5th. Opens on November 2nd. This is like Wall Street, got greed is good. That stuff, yeah. junk, junk bonds. Junk bonds, which I know nothing about. But you can learn from Stephen Pasquale. But I'm going to see junk. I'm going to see junk and I'll find out. Junk. It's fun to say that word. Can I give some news? Is yeah. it my turn? All right. Uh, there's a play called Charm, which is, this sounds really, actually really interested in this. Um, it's it's going to be at the, is this MCC? The Lortel Theater, previews August 31st. This is a transgender themed play. So what this is about is Mama Darlena Andrews, a 67-year-old black transgender woman who decides to teach an etiquette class at like a gay center, like and Charm apparently School. it's a real thing, right? It's based on a it's true story. It's based on a real woman, uh, Miss Gloria Allen, and it's all about sort of. Um, I think like she's trying to teach charm lessons, but Emily Post charm lessons aren't really, you know, it's kind of like fighting against what what that kind of charm is and real real life. Um, so anyway, Chandra Caldwell is starring in it. I don't That's know amazing. her work. Do no, you know her work? No. Well, I'm excited to see. Charm, charm. I'm charmed. Uh, Lily James. She's big. She's big. She's big. If you saw Cinderella. No, I know. She's not big in my life, she's, but she's well, famous. Well, if you have a young daughter like I do, she's a big deal. She's in Downton Abbey. She's Cinderella. She was Cinderella, she in, was that, Cinderella. in that movie that I haven't yes. seen yet. But she's going to be young Downton. Now I'm going to know her work very well. She's going to be young Donna in Mamma Mia, colon, Here We Go Again. I don't know if you have to say the colon. It might be silent. I'm not oh, sure. actually, it's an exclamation point. <laughs> okay, yeah, I'm sorry. True. It's like one of the original exclamation point shows, right? <laughs> that's true. It started a huge trend of exclamation that's points true. on Broadway. Um, so this movie is coming out next July. This is a summer 2018 movie, and she will be playing young Donna. And so, which I mean, young I guess Treat. leads me to think that we're going to find out more about Donna juggling all those men and all that stuff that we heard about in Mamma Mia. That's right. That's the backstory. In, and a lot of the original uh, movie stars. Yeah, they're all in it. it. Right, Christine Bransky, Meryl Streep, Pierce Brosnan, Amanda Seyfried. Yes. And like that. And some ABBA songs. And, s and a few ABBA songs. Yeah. You know, that makes sense. Yeah. All right. Well, Eden Espinosa. Okay. Mm -hmm. Everyone take a deep breath because merrily we roll along. Oh, uh, stop. I can't. It's, it's if, the if this US production transfer. doesn't come to Broadway, if we don't get merrily we roll along on Broadway, 
So this is the best musical. This is. I'm sorry. I'm just, I'll just show. Go ahead. Are you gonna just cry? what's happening? Just what's happening? Go ahead. Okay. Sorry. This is the U.S. transfer of the West End production, which, which started at the menu. We saw that Padres. together. We did. That Paul? was a long time ago. Yes, it was. Okay. We saw um, it together. It's directed by Maria Freeman, who's a very talented actress and, and director. Yes, correct. Uh, Eden Espinosa will play Mary uh, Flynn. And she's gonna sing the best Sondheim song ever. Now you know. Miss Betsy Life Wolf was in now a you production know. of Merrily We Roll Along. Miss Betsy Wolf. Yeah. What? Broke our hearts. That she's excited about singing. Not a day goes oh, by. But that's a different story for a yep, different. Yeah, that's you didn't not. Sing that that's song? not. You didn't sing that song. Did I not the same thing? The wrong thing. Anyway, well, anyway, listen to this. This is going to the Huntington Theater, September eighth through the fifteenth of October. But interestingly, so the male leads that we saw in London, the Brits are coming. Mark Umbers as Franklin Shepherd. Yeah. And Damien Humbley as Charlie. Yeah, Thomas. they were fantastic. They were so good. Yeah. Uh, okay, so now this is a little serious. There's going to be a benefit for Sandy Hook. This is called the um, Jessica Ricos Foundation. So that was a, a, a six-year-old child who lost her life at Sandy mm -hmm. Hook in 2012. But it's Katie Huffman, A.J. Shively, Sean McDermott, Laurie Hamill, and Christy Cates are all going to sing at 54 Below on November 2nd at 7 p.m. Cool. cool. Um, Heroes. This is the, this this we just heard about a couple hours ago, and I, I'm really interested in this. Heroes is a you know Stephen Hoggett is a genius, choreographer That's genius. A true fact. Yeah. Right there. yeah. <laughs> uh, he. This is a show that he is directing, choreographing with Spiegel World. So Spiegel World is the you know the Spiegel Tent where they did that like circusy show. What was the show called? It was called uh, something with an E. It was called yeah. That. Yeah, um, I can remember. And so it's a, a new show called Heroes, written by Enda, not Edna Walsh. Who did once with Stephen Hoggett. Tony Winner, yes. correct? Yes. Tony Winner for once. And it's a new show they're developing. They're doing a workshop at St. Anne's Warehouse. And it's about oh. the behind the scenes of a hotel. Like all the people that work in a hotel. Which of course brings up one of my favorite shows of all time. I, I mean, how is he oh. not going to say that? The Grand that? Hotel. Oh. Any all excuse to bring we, up Grand we, Hotel. We all knew that was coming. Uh, uh, but this is, this is not Grand Hotel. No. But it's going to be a cool show, and you're going to find out all about like what's happening behind the scenes in a hotel. And I'm kind of fascinated by it. it sounds really cool. Cool stuff. Uh, we have some more stuff on the site, the Broadway.com site. That, that site. site. We have a reboot of what's new. He's Pussy back. Cat. He's back. Tyler Haynes of Cats is going to do one vlog per month oh, okay. until the and show then closes. Until the show ends. And At the end of January. December. Yeah. Uh, uh huh. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. We have pictures from Assassins, which apparently you saw last night, <laughs> and. <laughs> Pictures of Groundhog Day's 100th performance. That cake. Can we talk about that cake? Yes, the cake Great is cake. an alarm clock. Yeah. Andy Carl does yeah. his thing. He knows how to have a photo op, that guy. He's a clown. And also, uh, Miss Kristen Chenoweth oh, yeah. visited <laughs> Andy Carl, so of course, he had well, to lift and, and her what, because and, that's uh, what he does. On the 20th century, the shtick was that he was like lifting her. And the shtick will never guns. die because and so Kristen So they recreated Chenoweth. that moment for you, and you can see that photo on Broadway.com. So we will be right back with Betsy Wolf. First of all, I took it as like the hugest compliment that I was being considered for this role because it's I identify with it so much. I've loved it since the moment I saw it. Sarah has been one of my favorite singer-songwriters for years. Um, I think she's brilliant at executing lyrics that tell a story. So I was so excited when I found out she was writing this musical. <laughs> In addition to being impressed by Borellis' Broadway debut performance, Wolf can't get enough of the Grammy and Tony nominees' music for the show and the musical's most important message. Well, the music's ridiculous, so it's, it's, you can't really say, like, oh, well, music aside. I mean, it's so integral to the character and what she's going through, but I think I just love that she's this woman who's so broken and then we get to watch her realize that she had the power in herself the entire time, and we just get to watch her experience that. And for females on Broadway, those roles don't always happen a lot. So I am incredibly grateful and so happy to personally go on this journey every night, but then also get to do that for you know thousands of people. I'll show them all
Hey guys, we are back. We are still live at five, but now we have someone awesome here, Betsy Wolf. Hi. Hi, Hi Betsy Wolf. Hi guys. How's it going? Oh, it's going so well. You, you're having like you're having a big week. You are in, is this you're, a big week? You're in movie theaters. Yeah. Oh, you yes, are I you're am. on Broadway, starring in a I big know. musical, and your your mug is everywhere. I'm on trash cans I and <laughs> posters everywhere. I do. I see you on I a lot of trash cans. I take great pride can. in that. <laughs> Throw away your trash. <laughs> That's is that really, fun? Is that crazy to walk around and see yourself? It's hilarious. It's weird, and then you don't even notice it. Most like most right. people don't even notice it. I'm right. walking by, and no one cares. Now you know what it's like to be Tom Cruise. <laughs> Doesn't even react to his own image anymore. Um, so uh, yeah, so waitress, how's it going? You've been there for what now? Like a, it's amazing. Like three, this is my fifth week? week. Fifth week. Yes, okay, my fifth week. fifth week. Okay. I'm loving it. Yeah. We have the best fans there. It's so much fun to get to do this show. I, I could not be happier. Was yeah. was it terrifying at first? Now you were replacing Sarah Bareilles. Yes, Bellis. I was repla uh, replacing for the first time an international right. pop star and someone who wrote it, so no pressure. <laughs> right. But um, it was actually super freeing in uh -huh. that they gave me just free reign to, they said, make this your own. So it's not every day that you get to replace in a show you know, where they let you truly make it your own. So it's been great, and Sarah's been amazing, and yeah, it's awesome. It's like a really actually tight-knit little family. Yeah, and this yeah. music is incredible. So, and you, it's how much did you know it going in? Had you already been like listening to the album? Oh, I knew album the score, and, yeah, and then I listened to her concept album, and it right. was just completely blown away. But I've been obsessed with Sarah for years. That's no secret. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so you're also, um, Falsettos, yes. which you know I'm a Falsettos freak. Our little gem of a show is in theaters now. Remember when now. you first got cast and I was like, and I said to you, yes. <laughs> do you remember that? I do. I remember you saying that. I, You're like, I, you get to sing my favorite line in musical theater ever. No pressure. <laughs> but then the only thing that's really, really sad about that is... It's different in the movie. It's different. So if it's my, my favorite line, just so everybody knows, soul. it's, uh, it's you, you I save you lives sing it. and I say... Sing it. I'm not singing it. Sing it. it. Paul, sing it. I'm gonna cut the you show. You save Sing. lives and I save chicken fat. I can't deal with that. So, but the, I took a swear out for the kids because oh, yeah. we're live on Broadway.com. Sorry. But that is actually different in the movie. So there's a movie. I mean, it's crazy. Is it a real it's movie? A it's a movie. movie. Yeah, it's a movie. So for the PBS version, yes, and so the movie. So you filmed it, it for PBS. Yes. And there were there were some lyric changes yes. for PBS. Were they hard to learn or to? It was slightly terrifying just because when you've been doing it eight shows a week one way and then all of a sudden they're like, so no no biggie. But tonight you're just going to say this completely different line. Right. And, you know, not to mention it happened to be one of my favorite lines that I said yeah. in the show. You were totally yeah. right. So yeah. I know that all the Falsettos fans in their hearts will be singing along the original lyrics <laughs> with me. So, yeah. So, um, yes, yeah, so you filmed it for PBS and it ended up in theaters. And we got all these Tony yeah. nominations and you guys reunited yeah. on the Tonys and suddenly everyone it's was interested. And again, and I was giving. like, "Yeah, so why isn't it running?" <laughs> That's a great question. No, because I love falsettos. It was a gem of a show, and it yeah. felt it felt so special just even having what a, a run we did. And you know, everyone had crazy schedules, and people were going here and people were going yeah. there. But it did feel like it was completed in a way. Mm -hmm. It got its like due, and now that the fact that it gets to live on and kids yeah. in the middle of you know, the country are gonna get to see it and hear this story for the first time. It's That's pretty exciting. So everyone can go to falsettosincinema.com and find out where you can go see it. It's playing through, mm -hmm. actually like through Tuesday in some places. But it's really playing awesome. this weekend. It was on last night and then it's playing this weekend. Um, I wanna ask you, so I first knew you um, from Everyday Rapture. Yes. You and Lindsay Mendez yes, were- the uh, Mennonettes. Right, yes. behind Sherry and I Scott. Mm -hmm. And, um, mm -hmm. and, <laughs> And there was that a was lot the second. Can I tell a secret? Is this like PG show or like how? You could say whatever you want. Which well, one? originally we were cast as um, the left breast and the right breast. We played her breasts instead of which were you? Mennonettes. I was the left. Okay, is that? Of course, I was the left. Of course, I was the left. <laughs> <laughs> Haven't like, you seen Sherry Nice no breasts? Of course, I was the left. Clearly. <laughs> so at some point during the show, that changed. But I, I do like that as like fun fact. Okay. You know, so let's get real. In your <laughs> eye, in your head, you're actually playing left breast. Like we that, that's absolutely. That's, you were cast as yes, left breast. I'm very proud of that casting. <laughs> I've been and, a stripper. Um, I've been a left breast. You it's know. so <laughs> crazy though. So and I, you've had like I think your sixth Broadway show waitress. Is that right? Oh my gosh, I'd have to count. But yes, I think yep, so. I think it's six. Um, and now you're like the lead. Now, now it's like you know you I were never you were left stage. breast. You were left breast, and now you're, I mean, how does that feel? Is that crazy? Because you know when you come to Broadway and you want to be a Broadway actress, like yeah. there's a lot of paths people take. Yeah. 
Yeah. And you know, getting to headline a musical like this is a big deal. It is a big deal, and I'm thrilled, and I love it. And I can I can say though, equally, I love everything that I've done, whether it was in the ensemble yeah. or whether it was being you know secondhand to Sherry. Everything like along the way that I've learned has prepared me for this, mm -hmm. and. Um, but I'm grateful for it all. But it's it's exciting. I mean, you get to do a lot with this character, so right. that is thrilling. Right. I mean, that's the dream, right? To get to kind of, you know, take such a journey with the role. So mm -hmm. that's of course that's exciting. Yeah. What about that eleven o'clock song, eleven o'clock number? <sighs> that I mean, it's exhausting and it's amazing. Is it? It's one is of the it? best songs. I mean, it's it's such a gift to sing that, and then and then when it comes in the show, you just. I mean, you really need that release by then. Yeah, she's gone through a lot. She's to gone get, through it. To I mean, get you, you do through go that through that it. In this she's show. gone through it. Yes. Are you able to shake it off when you get off stage? Well, and it's, it ends. It's up yeah, 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 yeah. Absolutely. Not a downer. Um, no, not at all. But I mean, I think if if you're no, if you're normal, that sounds like a terrible thing to say. I think everyone can relate to her. Mm. There's a way that every single person can say, I see myself in this character, I see myself in this woman. It might not be baking that you hide things right. through or that you you know, divert, yeah. but I think so everyone in that moment is like, what What can I do? What What? What is my thing? Or, you know, I just hit my mic really loudly. Right. Did so you notice that? Fun. Anyways, it's a, great, it's a great number. It's a gift to sing every night and yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah, you don't want to sing it now. I mean, she's going to sing it later at the theater. Oh, no, I don't want to sing it now. You have to come see the show. <laughs> uh, are you eating a lot of pies? I mean, they have those pies at the theater, right? Don't they? There are Do they so still serve many those? pies everywhere. Yeah. Yes, and the, they sell the, so the, many the of them. The pies are fake on stage. Uh, some of the pies are fake some on stage. Some are fake, some are real? Yes, some, oh, some of the pies are fake, and then some are real because we have cast members that are actually oh, eating. Right, so right. they are people very eat. much, oh, and people... Eat. And the you are throwing are flour and dough and oh, that's all real. It's very real. I have flour constantly over my face and my nails. It's like, you know, I, I never played Alphaba, so I can't imagine like being green all the time. Right. But I have dough everywhere. Did you ever want to play Alphaba? Was that um, a role? If somebody said, "We want you to play Alphaba," you know, I, I don't know why I, I did that I, voice. Yeah, that I don't, was the I don't person know. that tells uh, you. That's the person that asks you to play Alphaba. I think it's amazing. I would do it if I could play both roles. Alternating. Oh. What challenge? Right. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> She's getting grand. Uh, okay. I like them both. I, can't, I would um, never choose. I don't. Oh, you have a lot of questions. Okay, oh, Scott. No. Is this the obvious answer? What's the most challenging song to sing in Waitress? Is uh, definitely "She Used to Be Mine." Yeah, yeah. Because of the emotional place that you're in, so uh -huh. you're 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 out of breath from that scene in a way that's. I mean, you've been cry you know, chances are you've been crying. And so it's right. just like, it's it's hard enough to sing that song, but then you add all those other things onto it. Yeah. It's like, it's a lot, but it feels great. It feels great to do. We have some international comments. Uh, Dihan oh, yes. says hi from South Africa. Hello. Oh, hi, Dihan from um, South Africa. And, and Philippa said, bring waitress to Australia, Betsy, please. So those yes. are things you can work on. Yes. Um, are yes. you into that? We have so many Australian fans. At oh, really? Show. What's it's that about? It's amazing. I don't know. I'm told they love me there, and I am dying to get there. So <laughs> let's You're go. You're big in Australia? Let's do it. I'm big in Australia. <laughs> Night. Um, oh, please cut that. Uh, <laughs> can, can you edit this? <laughs> Why? Uh. <laughs> um, 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 have you seen falsettos in theaters? Have you? Did you watch? You well, went, I to, went the to the premiere, but I have right. not yet seen it. I had to do a show okay. last night. I just right. shifted the yeah, diner, so I couldn't see it. But she she I will get myself there. Night. I will get myself there. Uh, Cammy met me last night at Assassins. Nice to meet you, Cammy. Thanks for hey, saying Cammie. hi. Um, favorite pie oh, name in Waitress? That's a good favorite question. Favorite pie name? Yeah, there's like those all those crazy pie names. Oh, I love jumping without a net. Bottomless pie. <laughs> Yeah, I'm into that. I got a laugh. Uh, Jamie, <laughs> <laughs> how often do you bake in real life? And is it is being a caterer different than being a waitress? Smile, because you were a caterer in falsetto. I see what you did there. There's I see a, yeah, what you did there. There's a food theme here. I got I it. I, was a, I almost didn't get it. I'm only hired for my baking and cooking this skills. This is your no, new thing. Jenna is a much better pie maker than Cordelia was a caterer. No one would ever eat my food in falsetto, so it's actually quite satisfying every night to make things that people are like, oh, thank you. Yeah, that was like that's in the script. You know? Yeah, Cordelia. It's in the they all kind of like are like she's sweet yeah. at the food. I don't yes, know about I the do food. make. I make one thing really, really well. I make a coffee cake. That my nana oh, and this is a family recipe. You told me this. Family recipe. I thought you were bringing cake. some. And actually, sorry, <laughs> I made it yesterday. Actually, coffee. it was oh, funny, did. and I brought it for the cast, and it was gone in about two seconds. Yeah, coffee it was cake awesome. is like yeah. Yeah. 
Is, what's the secret to it? Is there, do you want to Sour reveal cream it? and a lot of love. Oh, okay. <laughs> yep, that's the secret. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of people are just saying, Betsy. Like, they just like saying well, your name. They they're just, just like saying they're just like, they're like just connecting to you. <laughs> well, it's um, a name you don't hear a lot, so they're just like, what does this look like to type? You know, uh, hi. Look, look at that angel. I think that's referring oh, to you. Oh, that's, no, um, definitely Janet, you. the trash cans amuse me so much, I squeal every time. We all do. We I all do, squeal. I do, I'm not going to lie. I squealed when I saw it for the first time. I was like, you got to be kidding me. I was like, this is my <laughs> dream. And my dad wrote in, in a very, very sweet text. He goes, you know, it wasn't always a dream to have you on a trash can, but in this way, it's okay. And I think he, he was referring to, like, I think he was referring to, like, something else. But, you know, I was like, thank you, Dad. He's very proud. Uh, would you say, I, I love these little inside comments, would you say you want a tight-knit family? Oh, <laughs> that's, that's a very personal. Body questions. <laughs> um, yes, okay. are you writing these? No. Uh, Austin? <laughs> Billy, Billy, what was yes, it like to perform on the Tony point. Awards? What was it like oh, doing the Tonys? So you guys reunited so on the Tonys. Fun. It yeah. was so fun. You know, I've been in so many shows that have been nominated, but it's not always a guarantee that you get to perform. Right. So when you're actually in a show that's nominated, one, cool thing, two, then when you actually get to perform for the show, it's really, really special. Yeah. And uh, Stephanie and I were both in The Mystery of Edwin Drood, but right. we didn't right. perform. Yeah. And so I didn't realize this was the first time she performed, and it was just really, really meaningful. Yeah. You know, I think a, you, a lot of people take it for granted yeah. that you're just going to get to do it. It was that, so cool. That falsetto's cast, um, they really, you all really love each other, yeah. and during award season, like it got, it got kind of like disgustingly cute. I actually. know, I like, know. Hum, I it was like, all right, enough them. with the all right, okay. <laughs> we all love falsettos, but but get off each other. <laughs> no, it's good. Uh, describe Sarah Bareilles in three words. You've met her, of Gen course. Yes, yeah, I saw her last night. Generous. Is she there all the time? Badass. Generous, badass. Um, is that two badass? No, badass is one word. We're gonna just say it's one, so I can get one more. Okay, word okay, there. okay. Um, uh, I already said generous. She's gorgeous. Gorgeous. Yeah, she's really gorgeous. Generous, badass, yeah. and gorgeous. Those are good answers. She, I mean, who doesn't want to be those three amazing. things? She is truly amazing. She really um, is. You're so cute. Oh my god. Um, <laughs> I, there's a lot. Of, I'm, this, this is like a lot for me to really. <laughs> is this uh, a lot for you to process? Process. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, if you were a pie, David wants to know what would it be. David, where are you from? No. We don't know. Oh, we don't know. That's too much work for me to click and find out. <laughs> If I was a pie, I love lemon. I love like tart things. So I would want to be like a tart. You want to be a tart. <laughs> Take that what you will. <laughs> uh, what do you think happened to Marv? Oh my God, this is a deep oh, question. Oh, deep. I can already No, tell. I actually love this Super because I, deep. I asked William Finn, I said, will you please mm, tell us this the show? answer? What do you think happened to Marvin after falsettos? Maybe I should call up Bill and ask him. <laughs> Bill, what he I thinks. Bill. What yeah, I know. Thinks? I was like, I would love like a. I thought it would be great to see like another continuation of that, yeah. like modern, like Marvin now. Yeah, that be, exactly. That Just like Al Silver did that follow-up book. Maybe yeah. I should write a Cordelia follow-up book. I think she moves. There you and go. Starts do that in your free time. In a diner. What? <laughs> um, <laughs> Bradley uh, wants to know about Tales uh, from the City. What was it oh! like to do that? Because well, thank you, Bradley. That's one of my favorite projects ever. Yeah, you ever. did it out in what theater? San Francisco. Right. It's, right. At the AC, at right. ACT, American right. Conservatory Theater. And then we it was always my dream to do a one-night concert. Yeah, and you were Marianne. And I was Marianne Singleton. And Marianne is like iconic. Like yes. That's like such an iconic character. And it was Laura Linney, of course, and thing, which now I'm like across the street from her, so I just kind of like geek out every time I uh -huh. like see her walking in the stage door. Yeah. Just Side note. <laughs> but anyways, uh, it was my dream to always bring this show, you know, or to have this done in New York. So it was robbed, the fact that New York audiences yeah. didn't get to see this. And so I got together with the O'Neill Center and Armstead, and we did this one night only benefit for the Trevor Project and the O'Neill, yeah. and we raised a ton of money and brought back as many original people from the O'Neill cool. as we could. And it was awesome. Yeah, it was awesome. Sold out and awesome. I would love to see it again. Time of my life. Uh, do you want Joseph, to do it, David? Do you, you want to produce it? Yeah, if anyone got any money. Joseph, were you freaked out by the snake in the last five years movie? <laughs> you had a nice bit in the last five years okay. movie. Okay, so they wrote to me and they said, Betsy, we'd love for you to do a cameo. Um, are you okay with snakes? And I had such a Fanny Bryce moment. Oh, not only that, but they were like, so just like two things. Um, you'd be in a bra and you'd have a snake on you. Because you're I playing. Think I like died. I was like playing the stripper. Right. And yeah, you don't say, you don't know her name. It's just, it's a lyric. It's a lyric. Yeah. yeah. In so summer in Ohio. I was like, yeah, do I want to be on film for the first time in my life in a bra and with a snake? Yeah. And they're like, are you scared of snakes? 
He was like, I'm scared of bras <laughs> on, <laughs> on in a movie. But I lied and I was like, snakes love them. And I, it, was, it was insane. Yeah, it was insane. I don't know if I'd ever do that again, but looking back, I was fearless. <laughs> yeah, Elise, everyone needs to see that movie by the way. Um, Elise asked, funniest backstage memory from Edwin Drood. That was a crazy oh. cast too. Oof. Actually, oh. can I just tell everyone to go watch Bustle Fluffer? I was going to say, you should go watch Bustle Fluffer. Yeah, that's, that's totally fun music That is video what we, we did. We would write Carl. this, uh, we and wrote this. That. Yeah, we wrote it. Yeah, yeah, it was awesome. Yeah, it was really, really fun. Yeah. So go check that out. There's I, way I, too I many answered it for you. Crazy I, mean, I don't mean to answer that. From that show. Uh, do you have a favorite Sarah Bareilles song? How about one not in the show? Um, uh, Manhattan is one of my all-time favorite ones that she sang. And I'm hoping I can sing it at Carnegie Hall this November. Secret, maybe that's a little sneak peek preview. <laughs> oh, okay. Mm -hmm. It's all about female composers and lyricists. Oh, awesome. So it's like my dream okay. to, have, to do one of her songs. Well, you said on camera now, it's going to happen. <laughs> uh, what's the best part of working with Audrey McDonald, 110 The Shade? That was actually your first show. <gasps> we wasn't became it? friends. Your first yes, Broadway show? That was my first Broadway show. Um, I grew up watching her when she lived in Fresno, California, and I live in Visalia, California. Oh, right. And so I saw her perform with like the junior company at this like dinner music theater. And of course, she's not the Audrey we know today, but right. she was incredible then. You were right. like, who's that girl? And so. Um, Really, I just wanted to do that. A lot of hair. A lot of hair. So I just always wanted to do something with her. So that's why I auditioned for that show. And she's just as fun in real life as she is on stage. Awesome. Yeah. Um, I, I knew this could go on forever, but dream roles <laughs> seems like an important thing to ask you. What did Cammie I say? wants to know about dream uh, roles. I said it the other day, and so I'm, for lack of like creativity, literally any role in Into the Woods. Ah. I would play the steward. Like, I love that show so much. I don't think you understand. Into the Woods. Okay. <laughs> Into the Woods. Even like Jack's mother? That'd be fun. Sure. Okay. Sounds great. Jack's cow. Jack's cow. Sit down. Sit down. Milky okay. White, I'm down. Uh, it would be J challenging, but I'm ready for it. Milky White, yeah. <laughs> uh, Kate Rinders was the first Milky White. Oh, really? Yeah. But that's then, awesome. Yeah, but then Chad Kimball took over. It was like, that, that's Broadway history, kids. How dare that's you, a Chad? little nugget of history. I love that. Uh, a little I love fun that, nugget. Uh, oh, what advice would you give your 18 year old self? Oh. <laughs> we all just went, ooh, we all thought about that for ourselves. Um, uh, stop trying to be someone else. Just be yourself. Just be yourself. Yeah. Do you feel like you were good at that when you were 18? Or were I you think I kept, I think I was like thinking, well, if you want to play this type of role, you have to be like this. And instead of mm. just like filling myself up and learning as much as I could and then just presenting the best version of myself. Mm -hmm. And I didn't really start to get like roles that meant something to me until I accepted that fact and said, I am me. Mm -hmm. The more I can just bring me to it, the better it's going to be. So stop what? emulating others. Michelle, what role in Waitress, and I'm not calling you Michelle, her name's Michelle. Oh, what role in Waitress Michelle. would you like to tackle other than Jenna? <gasps> oh my gosh. Okay. I'm, I don't, I'm gonna stop answering okay. questions for you. Yeah, I love it, Paul. No, I'm just gonna interview you. You know what's funny? I love like Becky's role. I love the sassiness of like uh -huh. Becky. I love, I love how she views the world. That would be fun. Also, Cal. You know what her favorite pie flavor is? It's what's so hers? Something tart. Oh, is it really? Isn't she tart? Isn't she? She is kind of tart. Yeah. yeah. I'm just saying. I also uh, want to be Cal, the the guy who works behind the diner. Eric yeah. Anderson's role. Yeah. He's a great show. That's a fun show for him. Yeah, yeah, totally. <laughs> is he cooking anything back there? What's he doing? He totally bake, bake has this amazing process. He's got real, ba he's got bacon. It's not real food, but like right. it's detailed yeah, what it he's doing. I kind of <laughs> wish there was just a camera on just his diner work. We're going to do that. We're going to get a camera on, on his diner work. Wouldn't that be interesting? Can we do that? Can we do a GoPro? I don't know. Let's our work on our that. musical would be up for it. I'm just speaking. For uh, them. Is the dough or flour you work with on stage gluten free? <laughs> they know I'm gluten free. That's hilarious. No, but see, I think if one's like a biscuit. The one I use in what baking can do is actually a biscuit dough, so you can like twist it easier. But then there's real pie crust layer for you matter to me. What and it is not gluten free. It's not? No. Okay. What's your favorite thing at, uh, Ben wants to know, we have to go soon. Uh, when, what's your favorite thing about CCM? Is that where you went to school? Oh yeah, I did go to school I, a there. A lot of people go to school at CCM. A lot of, bro it's, like, it's, yeah. like, it's like a pre-Broadway school. And fun fact, the pies in the show were actually made in the CCM prep shop. What? The pies from our show were made oh. at CCM's prep Do we know why? Just nope. Someone <laughs> just told me that fact, and I'm repeating it like I just know it for fact. But it is fact. Um, I loved. I just. I loved my class there. You know, in those four years, you just get to really know. And some of my best friends from life are from that class. And mm -hmm. some of them still do theater, and some of them couldn't be further from theater now. But the friendships, honestly, cool. yeah. Awesome. 
Uh, well, you know, like I said, this is going on way too long. Thank you for, you have, to, you have a show to do. Uh, Betsy Wolf, thank you for being here. Everyone go, needs to go see her in Waitress. You uh, must come. It's yes. such a good show if you the Brooks seen it Atkinson show. Theater. That's is that it? correct? The Brooks yes. Atkinson Theater. And then mm -hmm. also, uh, if you want to go see Falsettos, if you want to see some fake lyrics, uh, falsettosincinema.com. <laughs> But on the album, you can get the real lyrics. Yes, but yeah. in the theaters, you'll hear me say, how am I supposed to deal with that? <laughs> how am I supposed, how are we to, deal supposed to deal with that? It just doesn't have the bite, but, but doesn't have the, it, the message help. still gets across. It still gets there. It's still there. <laughs> the show is still good. You can still go see it. Thank you so much for stopping <laughs> thank by. Thank you very much. And you guys, thanks for watching, and thank you for all the questions. You guys are and awesome. We'll be back on Monday. We have Fridays off with another amazing guest line at five. I'm Bye. just coming back. Bye. <laughs> <laughs>